This is a standard shelter exposure. I'm just looking for those blooms. My advisor, when I was a doctoral student, came to me and said that there was this data that he had. He thought it would be interesting, and he said uh, that it's, it's phenological data, and I said, well, what's that? For the kind of work I do, I'm working with plants, things like first leaf, when the leaves first start to come out of the plants, and flower blooms like we're around right now. It's really strange, for some reason, this one didn't have any blooms this year. We're just here in my, in my backyard. This is my, my local lab, I guess you could say. Obviously, this kind of spring, seeing something that's quite unusual is fascinating. The leaf buds on the lilacs uh, came out on March 14th, and that was a full week earlier than, than I've ever recorded in the 20 years I've lived here. I've used the word extraordinary with talking with a lot of people, and certainly it's, it's prompted a lot of attention. And what is important about it, I suppose, is that things are, in effect, changing. We're not seeing a random pattern anymore. You have people talking about fractions of a degree change per century, and I've been able to look at things and talk about the beginning of the growing season is getting about a day earlier per decade. This doesn't mean that every spring is going to be this early, but it's something that perhaps will, will shake people a little bit in their complacency, the people that would say that things aren't changing and this is all some sort of fiction. This shakes that up a little bit. What Mark is doing is, is so creative because he's applying modern science to this, this very ancient set of observations. We're at the UWM field station. This equipment right here is just, is just some of the meteorological equipment that we keep for Mark. There's just a, a dizzying number of factors that could influence when plants leaf out, when they flower. But Mark's taken that to the space age by using satellite imagery to watch the progression of the green up in spring. So he's, he's making a phenological observation on the whole planet, essentially. I've been at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee since 1992. There's been a definite transformation. The whole attitude has changed. What was uh, exciting, I guess, was the challenge. The challenge of coming to a place that was aspiring to be more than, than what it was and, and being connected with that and hoping to contribute to that. What I'm hoping is that uh, we can use this as a way to help people become more connected with what's going on in the environment. It's something that individuals can go out into their yard, they can look at the plants themselves and see the changes. So uh, the hope is, is that, uh, as I've told some people, that uh, phenology becomes something that people don't say, well, what is that? They start to think about it and, uh, and know what it is and know what it's about uh, as time goes on. I really am into this, I mean, from my heart.